Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Trogdor and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are going into another PPL game versus a uh, cool guy Rufus or he's going by like Mango Man now. The Anyway, his team is the Parisians or Parisians or I'm not familiar with uh, non-American teams even though I'm rocking a non-American team myself. I'm the biggest hypocrite in the world. We've already learned that I cannot pronounce names. We've learned that I know nothing about international sports or like even American sports for that matter and that I'm a giant hypocrite all before we even talked about the team builder. Uh, so let's get into that before I make any more mistakes now shall we? My opponent's team is uh, it's super threatening and by that I mean we've lost to two teams that are sort of like the like his team is like half and half it's like in the PTL, Don has Tapu Koko and Mega Scizor, and then my good buddy has um, my good buddy DFP has Dragonite and Keldeo. So it's like already the offensive core is like super threatening. Like that is an insane Dragon Fairy Steel core. Tapu Koko and Mega Scizor are an amazing combination. Dragonite is so good. Keldeo is incredibly threatening, and then he's got Superior, Swampert, Meloetta. Drapion, Marowak, Lolan, Crustle, and Swirlix. So it's pretty top heavy, although his lower tier threats are very threatening, especially consider the likes of Swampert, Marowak, and Crustle are his rockers, and rocks are like very good against my team. Meloetta can be scary, especially if he gets into pirouette form. I've got answers to that. Superior can like set up freely and sweep super easily against a weakened team although its coverage is like kind of what, what would you say um its coverage is limiting and yeah that's what he's got on his team and i'm gonna go over the team that i have that i think will you know beat it pretty well so starting off with my jirachi vgc meta the jirachi because it just flinches everything to death so I'm rocking an Assault Vest because one of two reasons. His offensive threats are primarily special, although there is top, um, Mega Scizor, which can be offensive, but also it's like, you know, pretty defensive. And then like Dragonite, which is a setup, but it, you know, can't discount special Dragonite. So either way, Assault Vest is really good on Jirachi this matchup. And I've got Iron Head. I'm actually going to change that to U-Turn last minute because one thing I want to do with this is bluff the scarf, which Drachi is really good at doing. I've got Heart Stamp, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch. Both of these are very useful. This donks the Scizor, this donks the Dragonite. Heart Stamp does a lot of damage to the likes of Keldeo and Meloetta. And then I can U turn on some of his slower threats, like the Drapion, like the. Marowak Alolan, and even the Swampert. Basically slower things that I don't really want to stay in. Originally, this was like kind of meant to counter the Coco, but then I realized Iron Head isn't super great against it, like it's barely a two-hit KO. But either way, I've got other okay answers for Coco. So next up, I am bringing Flappy Burb, the Mega Pinsir, and this is my cleanup crew this game. Quick Attack, Frustration, Stone Edge, and Exazor. I might change one of those things to Earthquake, although I am outsped by the Tapu Koko. I want that thing to be gone before Pinsir has any chance of sweeping. So some of his faster things, like, okay, my team, my speed caps at 110. So some of his faster things like Superior and like Scarf Keldeo, that's super viable. And then Pirouette Form, Meloetta, those are all donked by Mega Pinsir, especially if they're like just a little bit weakened and I use Quick Attack. So Pin Pinsir is like really great cleanup crew. I first of all, I have no real reason to be jolly in this matchup because this outspeeds Dragonite, and then he's got a power gap, and then he's up to like Keldeo, which outspeeds me. So I can afford to be adamant this game, which makes Quick Attack a lot stronger, which makes Frustration and Exazer super strong against his slower threats. And I did want to change this to. Earthquake for the likes of Crustle and Drapion. Why did I have Stone Edge? Was that for Dragonite? I think so, but 
Uh, finding out coverage with Pinsir is super tricky, but I think I'm going to go with Earthquake after all on this. So yeah, that's Pinsir. Next, I've got Notorious P.I.G. the Embor. So I love running Flame Charge and I'm going to continue doing that because first of all, I switch in freely on Mega Scizor and then I basically get a Flame Charge on something. His likely switches are Swampert, Keldeo, well maybe not. He's also got Drapion could be good, Crustle could be good. Basically, like after plus one, the only thing that really outspeeds me is a Superior, which isn't coming in versus Embor, especially if I go for a Flame Charge. I tank a hit of it, and I go for another Flame Charge, and it's gone. I'm at plus two, I win. And then, like, what else? Uh, basically, like, there are a lot of things that do not want to switch into Embor. Uh, even Swampert, I can donk with the combination of these two moves, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to sacrifice my my bulk on this set. I also need to be jolly in order to outspeed Keldeo at plus one. It's a decent switch into me because like I can't outspeed even if I'm Adamant Scarf. So I have to be like jolly and then Flame Charge to get to plus one, and then I click Wild Charge. You're gone. So next up is Rosary, the Queen of Thorns, and this set actually does really well versus my opponent's team. So the combination of Giga Drain, Hidden Power, Fire, Sludge Bomb, and Shadow Ball, I can basically 1v1 any single Mon on his entire team. And like, yeah, I'm not even kidding about that. My, the Koba Berry, that's interesting because this is probably my best switch into Tapu Koko. If I have to revenge kill Tapu Koko, I am bringing in Roserade 100% of the time and like going for Sludge Bomb. Tapu Koko thinks like, oh, Roserade is like... Trogdor's best answer to my entire team. I'll just run Brave Bird because haha no one really sees that coming. Well luckily the combination of Brave Bird and any other move with the Copa Berry I can live two hits and basically donk it with Sludge Bomb. That is like a, not the most ideal scenario to deal with Tapu Koko but it is there if I need that option. And then things like the Marowak, Sludge Bomb and Shadow Ball can donk it pretty good. Hidden Power Fire, of course, for the Mega Scizor, Giga Drain for Swampert, and it's basically super good at like doing 1v1 anything on his team that I need it to. It's like really fantastic Pokemon that I love using. So my opponent has Tapu Koko, so naturally I've got Scarf Garchomp. I'm also running Stealth Rocks and Iron Head. Why did I have Iron Head? I donked Koko with, um, with Earthquake. Uh, does it get anything to be Keldeo necessarily? I'm, I just want to double check that because, well, Fire Fang could be good against the Scizor. Certainly better than the, than the Iron Head. It, and also like does a, well, Drapion dies to Earthquake and, well, Keldeo, I can't really do anything against that. So yeah, why not? I'm just going to go for Fire Fang to like help out with the Scizor. Yeah, Adamant, Scarf, that hits me at a... That can definitely outspeed Roserade, because I've got Embor to outspeed Roserade at plus... Or, not Roserade, what am I thinking? Keldeo at plus one, so I'm pretty sure this speed is for something like... Uh, I don't know. Anyway. And of course, if Coco is gone, this team is weakened, I could just spam Outrage. This is probably going to be my dedicated lead, because I... One of two things happen. I either like get a favorable matchup, and I can go for the rocks, and he gets out of there or not so favorable matchup and I just go for a Scarf Earthquake right away, maybe knock the Coco. If it's Shookaberry, it lives the hit, hits me with the HP Ice, I live that hit because I can tank it pretty well with my bulk, and then I go for another EQ or it switches out to something like Dragonite. Yeah. And then I have Suicune, Surfport, I'm running Scald, Ice Beam, Calm Mind, and Roar this game. Max physically defensive. Roar because he's got the likes of set up for like Mega Scizor, goes for Swords Dances. Dragonite could be Weakness Policy, Dragon Dance. Keldeo could be Calm Mind. Heck, even Swampert could be Curse. The only thing I'm not going to be staying in against that setup is the Superior with its Leaf Storm that will just like do 100 million percent to me. But otherwise, like, getting Calm Minds will not be so difficult, and I can, you know, do the Scald Burn fishing routine game that, you know, everyone loves to see. So anyway, that is the team for this week. I hope you have enjoyed this video. The battle will be up tomorrow after, you know, we fight and I 
edit that and upload that and all that good stuff. But yeah, that is all I've got for today and I will see everyone in the next video. So definitely don't forget to subscribe to this video, like this video if you liked it and comment down below if you got anything else to say. All right, take care everyone. Bye-bye.